What's up, guys? We got um, David OU eighty eight. He's very good. This guy. There's no way I'm gonna win this match. Because every time I play this guy, he is. Uh, Yeah, he's just too good. But I don't mind, it's fun. It's all good. Same thing before. Uh, but he didn't make that drop. That drop follow you. something here. I'm surprised this guy's playing with Nadal. He's way too good. I hate that when we just pitter patter back and forth because neither one of us can hit a good time, good time shot. And there I go, not paying attention because I'm talking to you guys. Alright, let me see if I can do something here. I definitely don't want to play one of those matches where I have to run non-stop. You know? It's no fun. <clears throat> and I want to make sure that I feel like I'm playing in the game, like I'm in the game, you know? If the guy's too good for me, um, definitely don't want to waste my time playing. It's just boring, you know? Who wants to, who wants to sit there for, uh, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes while, you know, they sit there and get point after point after point. It's, it's not fun. So, but you know what though? I'm really not a quitter. I don't do it often unless there's something about the player that's bothering me, or I have to go. You see what I mean? But, you know, those shots... Nadal's got what, 30 something on volley? And look what he's doing, he's approaching the net real fast. And um, he's putting the ball away. There's really nothing that's threatening about my game. This guy. He's just too good. Too good, David. You should be ashamed of yourself playing with Nadal. Good players don't need to play with Nadal. Better, uh, better 
there's like the player that's like underdeveloped. Look at them, hitting the lines every time. And you know what a lot of good players do? I've noticed this. Because um, I recognize them from the world tour. They, um, they slow play you in the beginning. You know, the first, first couple of points or the first, first set even. They might even give away the first set just to bait you. crazy because I think I'm pretty decent at this game and he's twine with me but he's gotten a doll I just missed that control shot I can't even play with a doll I just I don't I'm not good at his timing the serve the whole lefty thing can't do it Boring, 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 boring. Guys, you tell me what you think I should do. Should I quit? Should I quit? Or should I keep playing through? Well, obviously I'm gonna keep playing through, but what would you do? Would you, would you quit? You know, because no one wants to, no one wants to sit and get beat up, right? I'm one of those guys, I like to fight back. And I can't really fight back because he's too good. It's like fighting Anderson Silva. You can't win. <laughs> well, David, uh, you're good, but you're not that good. I got a few people who could beat you. I'll have to make some phone calls. And you know what? I probably would play anyway. You know, because I just like a challenge too. But I hate playing people who are just so much better than me that I can't I can't get my game together because you just can't. I'm sure some of you guys know what I mean. Alright, good match David. Even though it was an ass whipping. Too easy for you. Alright, PCFitness.net signing off.